It's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarder. Today I have a super fun Toy Story toy with me. Now this has been a crazy rare toy to find. Even online selling has not been very fruitful for this one. I happened to find it obscurely at a JCPenney and it was already on clearance. Well, I mean, I guess by this point I had been wanting this toy for some time though. This is a Toy Story 4 playset and it comes with a seven inch Woody and is actually a little like it's called a Papa Whirl playset, so it pops up and spins, and it's a whole carnival ride and also carnival bucket. Look how cute this is, and I will show you up close what we're looking at here. It's for ages three and up. It was made by Mattel. It's got a retail price of $40, and you can see that Buzz and Woody in the seven inch line can fit in here and swing. So I'm super excited to get this open. It is attached with a zip tie type thing on around each of the handles, so I'm going to cut each of those. I'm so excited. I don't know if this Woody is any different from the other ones. He's got different expression or anything, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell from opening him, but we'll see in a minute at least what he looks like. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. You, you have no idea how long I've been waiting on this. Ah! All right, so some assembly will be required, it looks like. But look at this little popcorn thing, and then this is a knobby part where it spins or whatever. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I just can't. It's too cute. Okay, so there's a little tray in, top, in the top here, and then we've got another cardboard piece that it looks like Woody is attached to. You. So if you can see this here, I'm hoping I can just pull this hard, whole cardboard piece out. Yes, okay. So now I can... And a whole bucket of pieces in there. So now I'm going to show you what I'm looking at here. And he's just kind of tied to a wall here. He's got two little rubber band tags. One around his waist and one around his ankles. So I will... Goodness. Reach for the sky. I'm sorry, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm supposed to say about it. I think he's probably just a standard 7-inch posable Woody. He's got a grin on... <gasps> There is a hat in here. I panicked a little bit. Here's his hat. I'll show you the hat close up. Missing some of the color detail, like the white band around it, or the slightly darker brown. I don't remember if it was slightly darker brown, or slightly different color brown, or if it was white and it had different color stitching. But anyway, here's the rest of the doll. I do wish they had painted in the checker pattern on his shirt, the red, but it's still a pretty cute toy and he is relatively poseable. So he does have a spinning head joint here. It doesn't quite go all the way around because of this bandana knot, but then he has got a full ball joint in the shoulder, full ball joint in the elbow, up, down, out, around, and then a twistable joint in the wrist. He's got twisting joint in his torso. This is the extent of that joint. It doesn't actually turn all the way around. I do have a Jesse that goes all the way around. He's got a full ball joint in the, oops, in the thigh here. Do be careful with this piece. It does spin out of the way so that you can pose him appropriately. You can do splits or whatever you would like to do on that. Then he's got a full ball joint in the knee, in, out, and around. And a twistable joint where the boot is connected to his leg. So lots of articulation in this. Very nice figure. Very easy to move these. Decent quality. Lots of detail as far as the textured in detail. A few missing details on some of the paint. But nothing that is a really big deal. Nothing that, you know, is a deal breaker. At least for me. Some things that I might obsessively paint later. Oh, one other thing. He has slightly different hands here. It looks like one that's out as a handshake or a hello, and one that is gripping if you wanted to either hang on to his hat to tip it, or perhaps if he uh, wanted to hang on to a lasso or something. We've got an instruction manual in here. It says Papa World Playset Instructions. We've got two seats, a rocket, a woody, a bucket, and a top. That's all the pieces that are in here, and then it does give you some instructions on how to do this, but I'm going to tell you how to do all of this stuff. 
case you are needing to see the instructions though, I will show you these instructions real quick. You can always pause the video if you need this longer, but of course I'm going to show you guys everything, so don't panic. There's one-time assembly. Alright guys, we've got one red and one yellow swing, and they have something on the back. Oh, a little clown! Okay, so that might be scary to some children, but there is a little clown on that. And then we've got what looks like a big rocket ship is the centerpiece, so that's pretty fun. This piece kind of moves up and down here. But the idea is... You're going to pop this on here, and if you look, there is a circular top that then has a stick piece that comes out. So line that up with the piece in here and put those together. So just push hard when you push it in. It will kind of release the rest of the thing, but that is what it's supposed to do. And then if you look underneath this, you've got a couple of holes. So two different holes where you're going to put the swings. They do have hooks on them. You want to make sure that the poles face outward. You don't want the swings to be on the outside. You want the pole to be on the outside. But then you're going to hook it on in each of these holes. There's a little bar where you can hook it. So I hooked on the red one. Then I need to hook on this yellow one. Oops. All right. So now we've got two swings. This does seat two figures. So they show a Buzz Lightyear in it. I brought a Buzz Lightyear out to do this. This is the seven inch scale Buzz Lightyear. So I'm gonna put each of them in their seats and put their seat belts on. Right, let's see, does this, yep. You can undo the seat belt. You can sit Woody in here, and we can, whoop, get your arms out of the way, bud. And we can buckle them in here. Oh. Come on, buckle up. It says the best performance is when you put their arms up. So we're going to put his hands up like he's on a roller coaster. Then we're going to get a buzz seated in here. So push down on this top piece to pop the playset up so that way it's high enough and they're not having their feet dangling on the ground. So that's good stuff. They're all seat belted in. You can pop it up or down with this. So you pop it down so they can get out and so they can get in the ride. And then you pop it again so that it will pop upwards. Sorry, I know you can't see the very bottom of that. I apologize. And then you take the big popcorn knob and spin it. Okay, that is super cool, you guys. I super love this. Oh my goodness. Okay, the rocket ship can stay attached to the top lid at all times, but the swings you are supposed to take off when you put it back in the bucket, but it's pretty easy. I mean, there's a hole with a little peg, so you just hook each one in each time, and it's really nice that the whole playset does come out of the bucket. So I can keep this bucket and play with it with other things as well if I wanted to, which, <gasps> guys, okay, if you take this piece off, that explains the playset. No way. I'm having a hard time getting the part that's attached to the handle off. Oh, so you take this off, it becomes an actual little popcorn bucket, and this is so cute. So if you want to play with just the popcorn bucket, I suppose you could probably pop this piece off and just play with the popcorn bucket, or you could put the whole thing back in it. So I'm going to need to take Buzz and Woody out of this for the time being. So then I'm going to unhook the two swings and this whole rocket ship will go inside the bucket just like that and before I push it down I'm going to put the swings in there and I'm going to put Woody in there and Buzz 
while we're at it, we'll throw Jesse in there. There's a lot of room in this bucket, actually, which is kind of great. So I can bring a whole bunch of toys along to play. So right now I've got all three in there, and I will try to show you the space that's left. I still do have some space. I could fit another character if I wanted to, but I'm going to pop it down. Oops. All right, so that is all on it. And it looks like just a popcorn bucket now. This is too cute, you guys. I love it. Oh, it even looks all worn out like it was at the fair. And your Pizza Planet symbols, like the aliens might like. And then the symbol from Woody's and Jesse's belt. We've got the Luxo ball. We've got uh, Woody's badge. We've got the wings, uh, the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger wings and I will show you this up close. I don't really know why I'm not doing that. I apologize. Oh, this is such a cool playset, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this playset down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up to leave a like. And if you have not yet, of course, do hit that red subscribe button down below as well. You can pause the video to do that. Then you can share it with your friends and family and go check out my channel. I've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun videos on there for you guys. All right, until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.